I'm back! <laughs> What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. I'm a Los Angeles and Nashville based actor. And for my four subscribers who were wondering where I've been at, well, I'm back posting videos. Alright guys, we will get into where I've been, what I've been doing and all that jazz. But before we do that, please, please remember to subscribe to my channel as it will really help the channel out. We are going to get to 1,000 subscribers and when we do, I will be re-releasing my first short film that I wrote, starred and produced called and let God do the rest so I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to subscribe while we roll the camera and action All right, guys, before we go on with the uh, meat of this video of my top five things I love about Nicaragua, I want to give you guys a little update about my last six months. So as I told you guys last time, I spent two months in Nashville. My plan was to be in Nashville for two months. I was going to be there for October, uh, September, October, and came back in November. I was going to try to do videos while I was in Nashville. I did post two videos, but where I was staying, it just wasn't conducive to making videos. So I decided to give myself a break. I was going to get back from Nashville, and I was going to get right back into it. I was going to post videos. Well, an opportunity came up for me to go to the country of Nicaragua. Nicaragua! Yacachimba! And I was only going to be there for two weeks and those two weeks turned out to be four months and I didn't really have any equipment with me. I had to buy like for the two videos that I did post while I was out there I had to buy some equipment out there and it was tough but I tried to put some content out there. I just decided you know what I'll just put a break on it. I'm going to enjoy my time in Nicaragua and then I'll recommit myself to making videos when I got back to the States. So here I am. Before we get into the top five things I love about Nicaragua, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on my acting career because yes, this is still an actor's channel. Yes, I'm still an actor, even if I'm not booking. <laughs> While I was in Nicaragua, I had a lot of auditions actually. Uh, shout out to my mom who I, was with me in Nicaragua and she was the one doing my auditions. It was a real challenge for her because she never really had experience in doing self-tape auditions. I didn't book any of those auditions that I auditioned while I was in Nicaragua, but auditions were had. During these last six months, I did have one movie come out on DVD and on all the streaming websites, and I will be making a video independently talking about that movie specifically. I think that's it for any other acting, uh, all the acting updates, right? Right? I think so. I think so. Now that I've updated you on all my acting news, let's get into the meat of this video. My top five things that I love about Nicaragua. But number one, it is inexpensive! The country's currency is called a Cordoba, and one dollar is equal to 36 Cordobas, or as expats, local expats like to call it in the country, courts. An average salary is about $200 a month, and that's just to cover the basic expenses to live there. A great salary is around $1,500 a month, and with that, you're not just covering basic expenses, but you are living large. A haircut will cost you about $4 a Nicaragua. And for all my drinkers out there, a rum and coke of the cheapest quality or the cheapest rum will cost you about $1.50. Rum and coke of the more expensive variety will cost you about $2.50. And if you're drinking Jack and Coke, este más tiene dinero. Something that the locals in Nicaragua do is they don't buy or they don't order individual drinks. What they do is they order a media, which is a half liter bottle that they serve with a bucket of ice and a drink of your choice and a shot glass. So you can pour yourself drinks all night long. A media probably has about 11 shots or 11 drinks in total. That usually costs anywhere between 350 to about 400 Cordobas, which equals to about $11. So you're drinking 11 drinks for about a dollar a drink, which is a pretty good deal. Food is incredibly inexpensive in Nicaragua. A plate of food will cost you, you can get a plate of food for about 150 cores, which equals to about $4. And they serve you a lot. A taxi ride around the city, during the day and the normal working hours, a taxi ride throughout the entire city will cost you about 30 cores, which is like 90 cents. Uh, after hours, it goes up to about 50 cores, which is about $1.20. So it's really inexpensive, which means your money goes a lot farther in the country. And that is why, for people who are traveling to the country, that is my number one favorite thing about Nicaragua. All right, my second favorite thing that I love about Nicaragua is the climate. Nicaragua has two climates. It's either hot or really hot. And because it's hot all the time, it is always beach weather. So you can always go to a beach or you can always go to a pool and that's something that I really, really enjoy. Because it's so hot, many of the bars actually have pools which you can pay a day pass to go swimming or they will just charge you something called consumo, which means you just have to purchase something and you can use the pool. The other thing I liked about the climate was that it's a very casual city. I was usually in shorts and sandals 95% of the time and everybody there is just kind of relaxed. It's a very 
in Granada specifically, it's a very beach or relaxing environment. The other thing I wanted to point out was that even though it was always hot, the weird thing about that, it was anytime you found shade, if you got right under it, you were cool off quickly. There's always a beautiful breeze that just, just blows by, and as soon as you're under the shade, the heat goes away. But it, the moment you're in the sun, boom, you feel it. My third favorite thing about Nicaragua is the food. Nicaragua has such an array of food. There are so many typical dishes, but their staple food is gallo pinto. But they also have so many different dishes that you can try. They have carne asada, tajada, salpicón, queso frito, they have arroz a la valenciana, and they have a specific drink that's a staple drink. It's called cacao, which is a chocolate milk type of drink, which I had uh, shown in one of my videos before. I love the food in Nicaragua, and again, it's so cheap. You can go to a fritanga. A fritanga is is a corner like a, a street vendor serves you like a platane and they'll put in rice a gallo pinto they'll put in queso frito carne asada ensalada and they'll serve it to you for about 150 quarts so it's really cheap four bucks and you get a big old thing of food okay the fourth thing i love about nicaragua is the culture and the language much like the rest of Latin America, Nicaragua is a country that was invaded and destroyed by pirates. Because Nicaragua is not as developed or not nearly as developed as the other Latin American countries, the remnants of these attacks are, can still be seen today within their city. If you go to Granada, you can see a church that was attacked by pirates and it was burned down and you can still see the church there that still has the flames and has the holes and has all of the evidence that it was attacked because they don't have a lot of development they don't have a lot of new infrastructure there in nicaragua spanish is their main language but what impressed me the most was people of all financial status be it lower income and higher income all had such impressive vocabulary which is demonstrative of their education but they also have such a rich and colorful colloquial expressions such like maje, duanis, no jodas, puela setenta mi putas. <laughs> and the fifth thing that I love about Nicaragua is the Nicaraguans themselves, their personalities. What I love about them is even though they don't make a lot of money and a lot of them are poor, they're always out there to have a good time. And that's such a distinction between our culture and Nicaraguan's culture, Americans are so focused on going to work. They live to work. They rather find an excuse not to socialize, but it's very different in Nicaragua. Nicaraguans are always willing to go out and party with you. Uh, I've met Nicaraguans who worked a 12-hour shift as a bartender, and keep in mind, they don't get paid for overtime work. If your shift is from 8 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, and the people at the bar are saying two hours extra, you're working those extra two hours, but you are not getting paid for them. Well, they finish the job, and guess what they want to do after that? They want to go out and party. They want to go out and socialize with their friends. So that's a, a one thing that I loved about Nicaraguans. They're, they're very sociable. And the other thing I noticed about their personality is that they're not very violent. Yes, they're loud. Yes, they're going to tell you off. I never saw a fist fight at a bar. I never saw problems. They were not violent people. So those are my top five favorite things about Nicaragua. If you've been to Nicaragua or if you are Nicaragua yourself, please comment down below what are your favorite things about Nicaragua. So that's it for my video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more videos about my acting journey and now about anything I'm passionate about as far as I know. <laughs> so please again, subscribe to this channel to get to know me a little bit more. Uh, but for now, andate la verga. <laughs> these are my top five things, top favorite. These are these are my five favorite things I love about <laughs> Concord. <laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> oh, man, I'm rusty. All right, here we go.